I mentioned it last week, the Data Traveler 2000. Yes. I said I'm really excited about this tech from Kingston uh, for so many reasons. Okay, so can I just tell you, this is, let's, let's jump over to our, our special unboxing camera. And Sasha, you show them this, this, this little piece of kit. This guy here. Yeah, get that okay, right in there. there we go. So it's a USB flash drive, but it has a built-in keypad. I know. And Bananas. with that, yeah, so with that keypad, you're able to encrypt and decrypt your data using hardware encryption on the USB flash drive without having to use any software. Well, why does that matter, Robbie? I can just plug in a normal iron key and, and set it up and, and be, or use Luke's. If Jeff was here, we could talk about that. <laughs> we, could, we could, yes. This one here. Yes. That I've had for since well, I, 2013. You've got the, the old school. I have the old school yeah. one, right? I, can, I don't know. It's there. Yeah. Here it is. You need to download software. Or, or install it, set it up. Right. Yeah. So if you encrypt the data on that, let's right. let's just use, I want to use a really, really easy use case scenario for okay. you. We've all got smart TVs these days or mm -hmm. maybe a, you know, a set-top box that you can plug a USB flash drive in with your movies right. and watch video. Yes. Right? So with the old school way of doing it, which requires software installed on your computer in order to encrypt and decrypt, um, yes, your data is safe on the flash drive. Right. But then you take that out, you plug it into another system, you've got to set up the software on that system, you've got to then decrypt the drive and be able to access it again. But using the scenario of the um, USB drive into the smart TV, mm -hmm. a smart TV, you can't generally install the software. No. So you're not going to be able to watch or your, your, your JPEG images from the slideshow from your vacation on the TV if that drive is encrypted. Right. So the temptation then is, okay, well, I'm not going to encrypt it. I'm just going to leave it wide open. So why does encryption matter? Well, if I put I, I confidential stuff, like exactly. we're not talking about hiding stuff that is illegal or anything right. like that. It's just about like pictures of my kids. It has, it has EXIF data that shows the geolocation. Um, those things I want to keep private. Things exactly. like um, spreadsheets with my passwords and things like that. I don't want people to have access to that. So if I have it on my USB flash drive or a backup of some of my files, mm -hmm. and then someone steals that from the front seat of my car or your mm -hmm. purse or something like mm -hmm. that, are they going to be able to read that data? Well, if it's encrypted... Then no. Then no. So then you're not... Ev like, say I had patient information on this. Sure. Right? You needed to take some work home for you uh, from work? Exactly. That has, like, confidential patient data? I would be legally... Just a theoretical. Yes. Like, this is not I'd, a real I'm case I'm not scenario. actually doing this. Yeah. But I, I would be legally... Like, I would be liable sure. if I were to drop this in the parking lot, and then all of a sudden I would have to do a huge report. I'd have to actually contact each patient. That Oh, my goodness. Right? And you said with this one, I said, what's on it? And what did you say? <laughs> Nothing. No. No. You said, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I haven't used it in a while. I haven't I used it. Remember. I haven't used this in so long because I don't need I don't. She's need on a it. Chromebook, exactly. so everything's in the cloud. Yeah. So there's, like, nothing of importance on it. Okay. But so with that, you cannot you can't just plug that into any device and boom, right. it's up. Let's get a look. I want to I want you to actually unpackage which is our unboxing of the uh, Data Traveler 2000. You can get these at cat5.tv/dt2000 and for once scissors are the appropriate <laughs> device for our unboxing video. So here you are, Sasha. All right, you I know. Jump in there and I do worry. Yeah. Well, yeah, this I guess could go all sorts of ways, guys. I have not unboxed live. This is an opportunity this for you to shine. This is a pretty big deal. I know yeah. I should, like, hold it. Come on, center your shot there, Sasha. Come on. How do you do this, Robbie? I know. Oh, everything way. is backwards for us. Now you know that when I'm unboxing things backwards and upside down, I it's know. really challenging. And Dave would be saying, well, you should probably be able to get it right now because every time he tells me, to, tells me to turn left when I'm driving, I turn right. Oh, there you go. Well, you're, so I should have you're it. driving backwards. That's so right. So it's very confusing. All right, so okay, get in there. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. So okay. does it, you know, it, you want to charge this thing up. It has a battery inside it. So when there you plug it in, go. it's going to actually recharge itself. Well, but like when this. you push a button, does it light up? Um, yeah, 
It does. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, Sasha, the default password is... Okay. Are you ready for this? I'm yes. going to tell you this. Don't tell anyone else. Okay. One one two two three three four four. So the way that you get into this drive, okay. so if you plug this into your Chromebook right now, it's not going to do anything. If I plug it into my Windows 10 laptop, it's not going to do anything. It's right. going to basically just be like nothing is plugged in. However, as soon as you decrypt it, it's going to be accessible. It's going to be launched. So I want to show the folks at home, if okay. you could, if you push the lock button, you're going to see, can this, you guys this see guy the, down here. can you see the red light actually comes on? There you go. So you see okay. that red light flashing? That means it's encrypted. So, so I push can... one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and then the lock button again. And then lock button. Green. Green. Okay. So Unlocked. now it's unencrypted. So right okay. now in this state, you can plug that into your computer, your TV, whatever device has a USB port, and it will read just that? like a USB flash drive. Well, sure you can. Okay, I'm just going to yeah. throw so it in Yeah, so you're going to plug it in. So we don't have a screen, oh, we don't have a screen for, me. for this, but you can see that it's come up oh. as a removable device. Exactly. That's on a Chromebook. So we wanted to test it on a Chromebook. Try opening the Files app. Okay. Can you, can you bring that up? Um, you have a lot. There you go. This Remove, one here. Yeah, click on Open the file. Open Files. Okay, clip. There you go. Yes. Oh, so now. I accidentally clicked on Garvey. Click on okay. Garvey is just popping up everywhere. Okay. So we see on, uh, there we go. on Sasha's screen, uh, and I'll bring it up over on, uh, on my screen as well so that you can see what we actually have is the drive with a single file, which is the user manual. You can confirm right. that you see that on your I Chromebook. Do, I do. And we I've wanted to bring that up on the Chromebook because I really wanted to challenge this drive. I wanted to, I didn't want to plug it into a Windows 10 system because it's, is it compatible with Windows 10? You know that it's going to be Windows and Mac. Absolutely. Linux? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But if it works on a Chromebook perfectly, we've proven that that decryption is unbelievably compatible with everything. Right. Plug it, it into anything and it'll work. Now, what happens now, Sasha, if you can unmount that from your Chromebook, so bring back up the little dialog and unmount that. I know this is all new to you. I know. Do I just do that here? No. Go back to your files. <laughs> there you go. So you see the drive and you see eject right next to Kingston. Now watch what happens to the light. And I want you to tell the folks at home because they can't quite see is it. It's just off the camera. Oh, it's flashing. Right. Okay. Now unplug it. It's what happens, Sash? Oh, locked. Locked. Immediately. She's doing locked. a great job oh. of showing it to you. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> She's like, I don't know where to look. But what happened as soon as you unplugged it? It, it locked immediately. It went into the red encrypted mode. Exactly. So now it's encrypted. So now if I take this drive and I plug it into my device, it's not going to work. If I don't know your password, which right now is the default, 11223344, right. then it's, I'm not going to be able to read the data. Do you know how to change the password? Well, let's get into it because that's the next best, like that's the thing that we have to do now that that's we've confirmed that it works. Right. All right. So try to do this on camera, Sasha. Okay. I want you to unlock it. So you're uh, going to push the lock button. Uh, here we go. Okay. And then you're going to go one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and then lock again. Lock. Right. Wa okay. Wait for it to unlock. It's unlocked. Okay. Now double tap the lock and then enter a password that you want it to be. Let's make it something. You're going to change it again, so. but do like one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then double click the lock again. Okay. All right. And it's still unlocked. Okay. So now hold in the lock button to lock it. And do my, uh, be mindful, too, that after 10 seconds, if you haven't plugged it into a device, it's going to automatically lock itself again. Okay. So now I want you to try pushing the lock button and use your new password now that you've changed it. Was one, two, three, four, five? Yeah, I okay. think so. You tell me. It was so know. super secure. And... Did you do it? I don't... I, it didn't turn green. Press lock. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then lock again. I... Did you Oh, wait, it? I think it died. Oh, it's is the battery so, not yeah. good? <laughs> yeah. because we didn't recharge it first. I do have one here that okay. is recharging. Um, so I'm going to unplug it from my computer. And I'm going to go... Okay, so... All right. And you guys get the, the idea. But so lock, 
1122-3344 lock. Now, Kay. it's unlocked. Now, lock, lock, one, two. Oh, you know what? <gasps> I realize this as we're doing this. There are um, security measures in place that make sure that I don't pick a stupid password. Oh, is that what happened? And for the sake of the TV show today... Sorry, we I didn't tried mean to, to be on this shot. We tried to do a stupid password. We want to do a stupid password. Um, so what we would do is we need to choose a, a, a better password. So is this still my password then? One two one one two two three three four. Yes. Four. Yeah. It's still my password. So, oh, I failed the password test. Yes, there are okay. actually things in place. So it's oh. so it must be between seven and fifteen digits in length. It must not contain repetitive numbers. For example, three 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 three. It must not contain consecutive <gasps> numbers such as one two three four five six seven. Okay. Okay. Right? I think I've got this. Okay. Okay. So, so that's a clever mechanism. I'm so double do click keep this. Double click this. Have you un okay, you're unlocked. Yes. yes. Now, and I'm just going to just enter a password. Okay, so you're entering a real password here? Like, we need to, like, mask this? No, I'm never going to use this one for real. Okay. Do you remember what it is, though? Yes, and then okay. double click. Double click, and then enter it again. So it's unlocked. Yeah, enter it again. Enter it again? Okay. And then... And then double click again, the lock. Okay. And now you and should now be set. Now it Kay. says it's locked. So oh, now, and now it says it's unlocked. So we've entered okay. it twice. Okay. So now single click the lock, enter your new password, and then single click the lock again and see if it worked. Okay. So I need to I need to lock it. Hold on. Hold on here. Yeah, you can hold in the lock button. I am. We're learning. Okay, there we go. It's now locked? it's locked. Okay. Kay. So now so. I'm going to Click the single click, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to type in this password that I'm not going to keep. And I only put it in because I know how to spell this. Oh, you're using the words. Yeah. Okay. Unlocked. Unlocked. Cause I won't remember a number. <laughs> Especially when it can't be one, two, three, four, five, exactly. I'm never going to remember it. So to change your password, you know, out no. of the box, we're going to press lock, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, lock. And that's right. going to unlock the device. Then double click the lock, enter my new password, double click the lock again, enter the new password again a second time, which is a confirmation that I've typed it correctly. Right. Then double click the lock and it will lock the device with the new password. Now it's encrypted and it can only be decrypted with my existing the new password that i have set right amazing right so now from here on f forward in order to use that drive all you have to do is enter the uh, click lock enter your new password click lock again plug it into anything beautiful if somebody gets a hold of that and they've stolen it out of your purse and they start messing around and they start pushing buttons and i'm going to figure this out i'm going to hack it if they get the wrong password 10 times mm -hmm. it's going to delete the decryption keys from the device so the data can never be recovered at that point oh so okay. really be certain from a security standpoint that is genius yes because i know that even if i lose this someone's not going to be able to get access to my data right so can this be the sole copy of my data no never 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 have just one copy of your data anytime in in the entire existence of your data no, ever, never, ever, ever do that. However, I've got encrypted storage in my server that houses my cryptocurrency keys, for right. example, right? So that data is double encrypted. The drive is encrypted. The files themselves are GPG encrypted. Mm -hmm. um, the drives themselves are Luke's encrypted. Um, so then I could now enter a password in this copy my decrypt uh, my cryptocurrency keys onto this which are right. in gpg encrypted format as they are so again double encryption on this device so now with my password i can then get access to the gpg files which i can then decrypt and access or somebody else gets a hold of this they can never access those files and if they try 10 times it's gone right but i haven't lost the files because they're on my server exactly right 
So you Kingston can see how Kingston is going. great at this. These are fantastic. I think this is something that we should all have in our pocket. The Data Traveler 2000. You can get it at cat5.tv slash dt2000. Uh, we do have one of these to give away. And if you would like to qualify to win a Kingston Data Traveler 2000 encrypted device, uh, make sure you follow the information in the description below. And again, if you're watching this on cable TV, uh, you can... Uh, you can um, go to our website, category5.tv, find episode number 594 of Tech TV, and uh, follow through with the links uh, below. Just a little bit of specifications for you. It is uh, FIPS 197, 256-bit AES encrypted. It's hardware encryption with the keypad. Mm -hmm. No software needed. It comes out of the box as FAT32. So if you want to be able to access, uh, store larger files on it, you might want to reformat it. Once you decrypt it, you can reformat it as XFAT or NTFS or EXT3 or 4, or whatever you want. But uh, then you're going to be able to put larger files on it. So out of the box, you're limited to 2 gig files. But that's that's not a limitation of the drive, that's a limitation of the file system, which is right. easy to change. The drive that I'm holding in my hand and the one that we're giving away to you is 64 gigabytes of storage. And you can imagine that for your encrypted data storage, that's a lot of space that's to be able to carry around in your purse, in your pocket. And right. uh, that is fantastic. It's also, uh, it's got like a water sealed case. Yeah, you can, you can really hear I, yeah, it. Exactly. Um, that's like a, a nice solid. And a really aluminum. like solid yeah. locky key thing. A really solid locky key thing, folks. This thing. <laughs> you heard it here on Tech TV. <laughs> All right, folks. So uh, follow the links below. I'm excited about those uh, for obvious reasons. I think uh, it's, it's about time there were consumer products, if you will. Mm -hmm. And when I say consumer products, I mean stuff that's accessible to the consumer. Like the average Joe user. I don't need to be a hacker or a Linux guru and understanding Luke's file systems and encryption and all this kind of stuff right. in order to operate a Data Traveler 2000. Exactly. All I need to know how to do is press some buttons with my finger and then plug it in. Bam. So that, to me, is what's so exciting about this de device. Yes. It's just easy to use and gives me added security for my files. This is why I got to do the unboxing. Is that why? Because <laughs> it's super easy there you go <laughs> yeah boom done super easy folks you heard it from <laughs> sasha and it has like a a thingy a super fancy lock thingy right yes <laughs> yeah. and it's super easy yeah <laughs>